It is Wednesday evening, about uh, 9 o'clock on uh, November 3rd, and I'm going to upload, uh, produce and upload a bonus video uh, from freechartvideos.com. Make sure you go by the website and, uh, and check out the videos there. And uh, qu quite frankly, I'm doing this for free because I'm trying to generate some traffic at the site. So it's, it's critical that, uh, that, uh, that I push as many people as I can to the website instead of just uh, looking these things up on YouTube. Uh, I, I know it's good to have them available. Eventually, I will probably delay the release on YouTube, have them out first on the site maybe for 12 hours, then, uh, then release them for general viewing on YouTube. They'll always be free. It's just where will you find them for free. Um, so anyway, ton tonight we're going to look at uh, using some time honor, time honor techniques to understand modern markets. Read this. Don't take my word for it. You make your own uh, investment decisions. But uh, we're going to be looking at, uh, at the uh, 3x bull financial ETF FAST. And uh, I like to look at four banks that uh, are the lion's share of the banking sector that makes up FAS. And we call these four banks the Four Horsemen. Wait a minute. That, that's, not, that's not the guys I was looking for. Ah, that's better. So the Four Horsemen of FAS. Number one on the list is uh, Bank of America. And as you can see, Bank of America, I believe, made bottom at 11.10. And um, I believe that for a couple reasons. Um, not the least of which is the fact that that was a measured, uh, indicated bottom from a double top. It went right to this level. The do in other words, the double top, uh, two tops, measured the height of those two tops. These, these are not them right here. And it pointed down uh, to the low 11s. Additionally, if you draw different trend lines, you can see, well, draw them over a series of tops. That has been broken. That's broken. That's broken. If we move down to this line, broken. And then, of course, I've put this line right here. This is the one to watch. If that breaks on strength in the next day or two, probably tomorrow, uh, Thursday, then I'm saying that uh, Bank of America is going to probably run on up to, uh, to at least the low 12s. So, uh, and, and really the chart says that it, it could uh, very likely go up and retest uh, this line that was the uh, neckline of the double bottom. Let's take a real quick look at that double bottom. Uh, excuse me, I misspoke. I didn't mean double bottom. I meant double top. So here's your double top. Measure the height of it. Tack that on to the, uh, to the line that broke. And you can see that there is an implied measurement that actually from this point is uh, is in the high tens but if you put it here it's exactly where it went uh, additionally if we put this line here and drag this across depending upon where you where you feel like you're getting the most touches it uh, it looks kind of like this was a wedge that broke out and then fell back but you can clearly see that there is support on this line, and it hit support. And now I think from what I see happening, I, b I believe uh, Bank of America uh, may start to turn back up here, should. Wells Fargo was in an ascending channel, and then it broke uh, down out of that channel. It did, in what I believe, to my eye, appears to be a bear 
uh, excuse me, a bull flag. If you just look at this top, this top, this top, and this top, interesting too how it lines up with these peaks pretty pretty well. Uh, broke out, wanted to get a little bit more steam, came back for back test, couldn't quite, uh, you know, it, it, it came underneath this line momentarily, but now if we zoom in, looking at a 10-minute uh, chart, you can see that it is showing a lot of strength today, having gotten over this resistance area at uh, in in the mid uh, 26 area, and uh, even closer today, it looks like it made a strong run up, is made a bull flag, and now is starting to head up again. So uh, I believe Wells Fargo is in uh, is in pretty good shape probably to come back to back test this line so uh, let's keep our eyes on this one by the way these descending wedge patterns they say that they uh, they have a strong tendency to produce uh, a, a bullish move once it breaks out of that pattern that will retest the level that was set before that pattern uh, came into existence so that means that uh, Wells Fargo could uh, you know, would not be surprising to see it kind of come back here and retest the low 30s, but uh, but maybe uh, a couple months off. Uh, JPM, JP Morgan Chase, has always been uh, a tough chart to get a handle on. You can see there's pretty strong support at this line. We've gotten close to it, but there's also this uh, descending line over this top and this top that once it broke out has been tested a couple times and uh, that appears to be offering support. Now let's look at it on a 10 minute. You can see that JPM looks like it is in a symmetrical triangle. Whether this breaks up or down is anybody's guess but I would say with the general market direction uh, that it looks like we're in my bet is that JPM breaks up and heads on up and eventually uh, tests uh, 40 minimum just from the uh, shape of this pattern because if we measure the height of it we're looking at a, at a test around 40 and finally, the last of the uh, four horsemen, Goldman Sachs. Goldman has been in, a, uh, in an ascending channel ever since it broke out of a rather large uh, pattern that looks uh, something like a reversal uh, uh, triangle if we draw this line over this peak you'll see it never really did come down for a third touch on this and you'll have to pardon these this chart gets a little goofy I have to keep resetting these lines you'll see this peak this peak it broke over that back tested broke over this green line back tested and now as you can tell it's in a channel it found the bottom of the channel today and bounced. It has also made what appears to be a small flag on the two minute chart and it looks like this move will likely continue up at least uh, another dollar if that flag does what it normally does. And of course if it does that then we're also looking at uh, it's some strength in taking out this resistance line. And if it does that, then we're probably looking at a run back up to test this uh, upper line, probably in the high 160s. So there you've got it, the four horsemen. And uh, make sure when you get a chance, stop by freechartvideos.com.